In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is December 6th, the Feast of St. Nicholas. It's also the second Sunday of Advent, but because it's the Feast of St. Nicholas and it doesn't always fall on a Sunday, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas lived from the late 3rd century into the early 4th century AD. Tradition dates his birth on March 15th, 270 AD, and his death on December 6th, 343. His story is an interesting one that likely contains a little bit of legendary elements. Uh, we know for sure that he was the Bishop of Myra, which is located in modern Turkey. He is said to have attended the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD and is remembered as being a strong defender of Orthodox Trinitarianism and a vocal opponent of a heresy called Arianism, which holds that Jesus is not equal with God, but a created being. So Arianism is anti-Trinitarianism, whereas Nicholas was a defender of Trinitarian faith, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, icons of St. Nicholas sometimes show him fighting, literally getting into physical altercations with heretics, which is hopefully more figurative than literal. But it does illustrate some of the controversies that was going on at the Council of Nicaea and how people got wound up about that. Uh, the Nicene Creed that we say every Sunday came out of this council at Nicaea. That's where the creed gets its name. And we owe a debt of gratitude to Nicholas and the other bishops who were present there, who clarified and summarized the gospel truth that God has been revealed to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Aside from his work defending orthodoxy, St. Nicholas is also remembered for his generosity, which was so well known that it became the stuff of legend. It is that side of St. Nicholas of Myra that has come down to many of us who know him by his Dutch or English nicknames, Santa Claus or Saint Nick. Often people think of Saint Nicholas as a great gift giver and following that example, invoke him and give gifts to their loved ones. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, that's great. But Saint Nicholas was about a whole lot more than just being nice to family and friends and giving them gifts. Saint Nicholas, is the patron saint of sailors, merchants, archers, repentant thieves, prostitutes, children, brewers, pawnbrokers, unmarried people, and students in various cities and countries around Europe. So he's a different patron saint in different places. But he is remembered to have distributed all of the wealth he inherited from his parents to the poor, he is also remembered for giving gifts to those in need, but doing it anonymously so he could not receive any credit. He is remembered, as his long list of patron saint uh, items makes clear, that he did not limit his generosity, uh, whether it was in terms of giving resources away or in terms of uh, you know, being present with people. He didn't limit that generosity to his family or friends but was generous with what he had to everyone, especially those who were the least or left out of respectable society. And you can see some of those in the list that I read. I invite you to follow the example of St. Nicholas, who gave his life to Christ and who was filled with a spirit of generosity to give what he had given, uh, what he had been given by God to those who were in need. Now, this Advent, and especially on this day, when we remember St. Nick, I want to encourage you to be generous to a person or perhaps many people that you will never meet. If you're looking for something specific, I have two recommendations. First, the Christchurch Outreach Committee is supporting the Christmas Toy Drive run by the Hope Community Services of New Rochelle. Now, Hope is distributing toys to children in need this Christmas season, following the example of St. Nicholas, and they are making it easy to do that via an Amazon wish list, and the link will appear on this screen, hopefully right now. 
You can pause the video and write down the link, or you can visit our parish website, www.christchurchpelham.org, and click on the toy drive button at the top of the page. Toys ordered through Hope's Amazon wish list will be sent directly to Hope Community Services for distribution. Uh, to ensure that Hope receives your donation in time for distribution, I do recommend that you place your order with Amazon as soon as possible, but not later than December 10th. If you have any questions about that or want any background on that, we've been running info about this in our eblast for the last couple of weeks. So you can see information about that there on our website by clicking news. Now, if internet shopping is not your thing and it's not for everyone, our outreach committee is also collecting cereal boxes. So this is the second opportunity. Um, they're collecting cereal boxes during Advent for distribution to families in need. And the cereal boxes may be dropped off in the outreach basket. It's the big obvious basket in the narthex or in the collection bins located downstairs between the double glass doors of the parish office building. Both of those are at Christchurch and we'll be collecting cereal through Sunday, December 20th. On this St. Nicholas Day and on the second Sunday of Advent, may God bless you with a generous heart. And again, uh, I invite you to do what you can to be generous to people that you will never meet, especially on St. Nicholas Day. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.